Hey, this is Joel with Coreware. Today I'm going to show you how to tie your gun broker account in with your website. So stand by. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to orders. Once we find orders, we're going to expand it and then we're going to click on Core Shop Setup. Once we're here, go over and click Gun Broker. Here you'll enter your username and password and then click Save. Now we're going to scroll down again and click Gun Broker. Next, you'll click Products. Here we'll add a product. So go to the top right and click Add. Okay, once you've done that, you're going to go to your website and you're going to pick an item. So what I've done is I've gone to the website and I'm going to pick this G29 Gen 4. I'm going to copy the UPC Now I'm going to take that UPC back to the uh, gun broker maintenance and place it in the product and you'll see the information pop up right there. You're just going to click on that. Once you do that, it's going to pull all that data in. Now all these, uh, the description, the title, all that stuff is, it, you can change it. You can make it whatever you want. I mean, you want to keep it the same, but it's okay to make it a little unique. Now we're going to go back up to listing type. I'm going to keep it at fixed price, but you can also pick auction here. You can go down here and do auto accept price and auto reject price. Here where it says auto relist, if it's a fixed price, you cannot relist at all. So cannot be a relist when the price is fixed. Here are your categories. If you do not see these categories, then you need to go back and make sure that your credentials work logging into GunBroker. If they do not, you need to contact GunBroker. We know this gun is a semi-automatic pistol, so we're going to pick semi-automatic pistol. Once we've got this picked, we're going to go up here to uh, fixed price, and I'm going to change this price here on maximize day. I'm going to put it at a dollar, I believe. And then we're going to set our ground shipping at $10. And if you're familiar with Gun Broker at all, you can see all these fields will be uh, familiar to you. So we're going to hit Save. And then we're going to make our way back down to the Gun Broker module to Listings. We're going to see our listing right here. And this is the way we send this to Gun Broker. Click that, send selected products, you can see it sent 430 2020 it's the last send. Now we're going to search for this gun here on Gun Broker, and there it is, there's our dollar Glock. So we're going to go through here, pick our quantity, we only want one, I should get more, buy now. Set our ground shipping, $10. We're gonna pay with a visa. I'm gonna go down here and change my email address, make sure I get the email. And now we're gonna purchase. We're gonna go back and look at our orders again. Under Gun Broker. And you'll see the order that we've just placed and this is really cool but you see all these fields are filled in but this is a really cool feature we're gonna go over here and click email customer this is how awesome it would be for you if you had a customer that ordered something they're gonna get an email like this and you can customize the email and then what's gonna happen is they're gonna click on this link it's gonna take them back to your website and then they'll be able to finalize the purchase on your website instead of on gun broker now you see I've ordered some stuff earlier today I don't want that and I don't want that so we're just gonna stick with the Glock go over here and click checkout 
Now on this, you can see you've got your shipping fields, your FFL, you can donate here. You've got your different um, payment methods you can do. All the different payment methods right here. And if we want to go over here and uh, add an account label, we can do that. And now we're going to go finalize. So you can see how this would be a very, very powerful tool to be able to uh, bring your customer back to your website instead of having them purchase on your website, go to GunBroker, then come back, get an email, go back to GunBroker. I mean, it's confusing. So this is really streamlining everything to make the purchasing experience for your customer that much uh, smoother. And a happy customer is a repeat customer. So we're going to go back and let's take a look at the order here and you're going to see the order under gun broker orders and we can look back and see that we have already sent this email so you'll see here on the right column email customer email already sent so this really streamlines the process for your customer and it keeps everything under your roof I hope you enjoyed this. If we can do anything else for you, please let us know. We've got more tutorials on the way.